Hi, my name's Jake Urban. I'm coming at you from the Jackson Hole Outdoor Leadership Institute. Uh, we're at about 7,100 feet. We're on a south-southeasterly aspect. We're on about a 26 degree slope and we're out on the Wilson faces here uh, right over top of uh, the Teton Pass Road over 22. And uh, we've been observing a couple of different things in the snowpack, one of which is, is we've had some warmthing. Um, the other thing is, is that we're also seeing a density break in the new storm snow here. So we're just going to do a burp test. We're looking at the, uh, we're looking at the all the new storm snow here, and uh, we're just interested to see if there's any density breaks. And there is. And so you can see in the new storm, there's a slab that's starting to form here, and it's just breaking on some weaker snow, uh, just a temperature change within the uh, within the snowfall. Um, but the big concern that we've been looking at are two different layers here. Uh, one of which is, is a layer of grapple um, that's really well preserved and it's pretty thick. And then the other one is a facet layer. Um, both, both of these from some time ago, but we're going to see how they uh, interact in a uh, compression test and see if we can get any initiation on those layers. So <clears throat> that's a uh, CTM 12, and that's 72 centimeters down, and it's really clean. So we got some initiation with some clean failures down on this facet layer here, so we're going to do an ECT uh, and see if we uh, can get any propagation on that layer. So we actually just got an easier score than we got on the CT. Um, so we got full propagation here, ECTP 11. Um, and again, uh, those are on those are on facets. Wow. And there's actually there's multiple layers going on here. Um, but that's definitely a for concern. 72 centimeters down, so it's over a couple of feet. We're at low elevation. There's not a lot of effect by uh, wind here. So with additional loading, this hazard's just going to be pretty scary. So um, keep it safe out there, folks. Check in with the Bridger Teton Avalanche Center and uh, ride smart.